Hey guys, how you all doing? In today's video, I aim to show you some amazing street food in Manchester. Now, Manchester is famous for a lot of different things. However, street food isn't something that gets mentioned very often. However, there are some amazing street food vendors right here in the city. So whatever you're into, be it sweet, savory, spicy, whatever it may be, there'll be something for you in this video. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so stop number one on this street food tour of Manchester is actually right in the heart of the city in Piccadilly Gardens. There's this amazing street food market. Let me show you around and grab a couple of bites to eat as well. Right, okay, we start with some Turkish wrap. So these guys. Sorry, it's a little bit loud here. We are out and about the hustle and bustle of Manchester. There's a protest going on over there. So what they actually do, these guys, they have four different types of chicken. They've got like sweet, an Istanbul, a spicy one, a barbecue. If you ask for the greedy Turk, you can get it all put into one wrap. Let's give this a go. I've also got some of their homemade chili sauce. You know, that's a great healthy start to the day. The chili sauce has got a really good amount of actual spice to it. Like I said, it's their homemade chili. That is super tasty. I like that you've got four different types of chicken. They all work together. It's all out in the open. They make the wraps in front of you so you can see exactly what you're getting. That is a delicious wrap. At 550, that is banging. Okay guys, so we're still at that street food market, particularly the gardens. I've now gone to Burrito Express, so some Mexican food after this. Uh, stick around, I've got some amazing donuts to show you. But guys, believe it or not, this is one burrito. This is one burrito, it's absolutely massive. I've gone for the meaty one. This has three types of meat in it, some guacamole, some homemade salsa, a load of cheese. Okay, so I'm just gonna tuck straight into this, guys. This looks absolutely epic. Yo, you know, the meat, the guacamole, the salsa, the cheese, they work awesome. That will fill up any one of you. That is absolutely delicious. I should mention there's some chips in there, there's some rice in there. I've never had chips in a burrito, but that works really, really well. Kind of reminds me of a gyros when you go abroad and they put chips in the wrap. Guys, I'm going to demolish these and then we're going to get some dessert. Let's get some donuts. Okay, so now we've moved on to dessert. I've got these donuts, I had these before, they're absolutely delicious. So I've only gone for two, but they obviously do larger batches, larger portions as well. I've gone for some Nutella and some cinnamon sugar on here. Hey man, these are made fresh for you, absolutely delicious. They remind me of seaside uh, donuts when they're sort of crispy on the outside, super fluffy on the inside, really reasonably priced. These are absolutely delicious. Guys, man, I'm just in love with these donuts. They're absolutely delicious, just so fluffy. I love the crispiness, good amount of Nutella. You don't have to have that, but they give you that option. Cinnamon sugar and normal sugar as well. These are an absolute must if you're coming to Manchester. Okay, so that was a very, very quick introduction into the street food fair in Piccadilly Gardens, but I've got a couple of amazing places to show you next. So let's get going. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm at Northern Seoul. These guys focus on all things cheese. I've gone for the classic, which is just their normal uh, three cheese toasty, but with chutney in as well, onion chutney in. They also give you some crisp and pickle on the side as well. Super cheesy. These toasties look awesome. Let's give them a go. If you're a cheese fan, if you're a toasty fan, Northern Soul is an absolute must. The cheese have a really deep, strong, mature taste. The caramelized onion actually give it a bit of sweetness as well. The toasty itself is super crispy, it's super thick. That is delicious. So now I'm in the jerk shack. These guys focus on Caribbean street food. So carrying on the street food video. So this is what you call a chicken split. It's a, a dumpling shape. Kind of like a baguette, I guess, with some jerk chicken, some jerk gravy, and some coleslaw. Looks unbelievable, smells unbelievable. Right, this split looks unbelievable. I'm gonna tuck straight in, guys. Yo, hey man, there's so much jerk chicken there. The jerk gravy is delicious. Got a really, really good kick to it, actually, like a, not like a spicy kick, but 
like a peppery heat. That is absolutely delicious. They give you a ton of chicken, and I've never had a dumpling shaped like an actual baguette. That is awesome. The dumpling itself has got a really nice, thick, sort of stodgy consistency to it, so it actually soaks up all of the gravy. Coleslaw is delicious. This is actually, like I said, first time having this one. Thought I'd be experimental. These guys have loads of fried chicken. They've got some go curry. They've got a variety of different things as well. I'll quickly try and show you guys the menu. But this, however, is pretty popular and it is delicious, guys. Guys, for a fiver, this is an absolute steal, an absolute must. Hey guys, I've got myself a really, really cool looking hot dog. Guys, just a little, sort of quick one really. Uh, he does sell non-halal stuff as well. However, I'm perfectly satisfied with the lack of cross-contamination. There's different tongs, things aren't cooked on the same apparatus, things are stored separately, etc., etc. But do go there, do due diligence, and do ask the chap yourself. But I want to crack on with this. Oh, hot! Hot dog is super tasty. Quite hard to find hot dogs halal and street food as well. It's a bit of a winner this one. You have chili sauce, mayo, mustard. I just like a bit of ketchup on my hot dog. Some onions there as well. Can't go wrong with that. Simple and delicious. Great start so far, guys. We're going to carry on. Let's get some more street food. Okay, so quick little stop for some ice cream. These guys are based on Market Street. I've gone for some Moven Pick ice cream. Sorry, it's super loud here. Lots of hustle and bustle. Music going on in the city centre of Manchester. I've gone for panna cotta and double chocolate ice cream. Panna cotta first. That is refreshing. Oh. It's actually a bit of a humid day today, so this feels really nice. On a hot day, on a hot summer's day, this will be perfect. Moving on now to the double chocolate Swiss ice cream. Do you know what, guys? I'm not a fan of chocolate, I'm not a massive fan, but the guys that actually get this one of the best chocolate ice creams you'll have, I can confirm, hey man, this double chocolate ice cream is unbelievable. It's rich, it's decadent, it's indulgent. That is delicious. Okay, so no street food tour would be complete without getting a slice of pizza. These guys also are based on Market Street, just like Moven Pig. They actually do calzones, they do arancini, uh, they do chicken burgers, lots of halal food here. I've gone for a slice of pizza. Honestly, they're so busy, they're so popular. I was a little bit late and they run out of food. However, get here a little bit early, maybe 12, one o'clock, we'll be able to get some pizza, like I said, arancini, some calzone, lots of cool stuff. Okay, so moving on now to a little street food event uh, just outside the city centre of Manchester. Really, really excited to show you this one, guys, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so now we are at Grub Food Fair. These guys run a street food event just outside the city centre of Manchester. They operate Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday being a vegan day. Now, these guys, I wouldn't necessarily say are a hidden gem because they're quite well known now. However, I'm sure there's lots of you that don't know these guys are here. Super excited to show you guys the food that they have. So let's go. Guys, so I've actually got my dishes now. So I've got some Chinese with some churn fat and some vegetable dumplings. I've also got tiramisu, which is actually really hard to find halal, but this is actually pistachio Nutella. As you can see, it's very wet, but it'll give you that authentic Manchester feel, some rain going on up in there. You can't really escape it. So I was gonna say, I won't be a monster. I'll have my starter first, then I'll have my dessert. We'll start with the churn fan. This is actually a Chinese rice flour dish. Bit of a barbarian, did not get a fork, so I'm just gonna grab it with my hands. They provide forks, I just didn't grab one. Let's give this a go. Yo, some satay on there, a little bit of chili, some spring onion. I love my dim sum. That is actually fantastic. Super soft. If you haven't had churn pan before, make sure to give it a go. Next, we'll go for the vegetable dumplings. These actually are usually steamed. I think these are, but they've got a little bit of crispness to them as well, which is a bit different. I've not had that before, so I'll give that a go. Oh. Pack full of veg, super delicious, super hot actually. I like these. I like the little bit of crisp up top. All right, moving on to the tiramisu. Like I said, this is pistachio and Nutella. It's super hard to find uh, tiramisu halal because one of the key ingredients is actually alcohol. It's quite rare and I'm, I'm happy I found this. Yo. The Nutella is awesome in that. Pistachios are lovely as well. That's a really, really cool combination. I don't think I really ever have pistachios and Nutella together. That is absolutely delicious. Very different, I would say, to a regular uh, tiramisu because honestly, I can't taste too much coffee in that, but it's super delicious. They do other tiramisus as well. Make sure to get that, guys. I know it's not been super ideal because they've literally just opened it. It's like really, really wet. 
However, I just want to show you a quick sort of brief touchdown of some of the places they have here. They have a ton more places as well, open for three days. They have different providers sort of rolling through those days. So it's very wet. <laughs> different providers on the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That changes weekly. They put their updates on their Instagram, so check that out. Guys, I just wanted to show you a, a couple of cool, quick dishes. Make sure to come down to Grub. Like I said, they're operational Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday being a vegan day, Friday and Saturday being a omnivore. Dave, I guess, I don't know. Uh, make sure to check these guys out. I'll put the description of this place in the description for you, but highly, highly recommended. All right, so I've tried to give you guys a little tour of street food in Manchester. There are a ton more places to cover. For example, you've got the Arndale Food Market. They have a load of sort of independent vendors who do food from really all over the world. It's very, very street food. If you guys want to see something along those lines, please do pop a comment in the comments below. If you guys want to see something like Hatch, which is similar to the Arndale Food Market, it's indoors, it's fairly new. Lots of independent suppliers. There are a load of food trucks in Manchester. There are definitely places and markets that I haven't covered in this video, because if I did, the video would be about two hours long. If you guys want to see more street foody stuff, please do let me know in the comments. If you're liking the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more. But I'll see you guys in that next video. Bye, 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 bye.